Hi, Lindsay Tedesco here again. Thanks for joining me. In the last video, we saw how Dr. Tabata proved that an amazing four-minute fitness program achieved 52% higher improvement in aerobic fitness than the old steady-state hour-long workouts most people still suffer through. By the way, Dr. Tabata is just one of the top exercise physiologists to prove this. He's joined by many others, and you'll find a host of studies and articles by some of the best by clicking on the Real Proof section of this website up there. You know, in all my years in studying health and fitness, I've discovered a few things. One is that most people hate working out. That's why so few of us do it on a regular basis. And it's also why many people are switching to the four-minute program with the Accelerate Raw Machine. I also discovered that aerobic fitness may be in, but burning fat is where it's at, isn't it? Most people are carrying a few extra pounds that they'd really like to lose. And using the old steady-state exercise methods, you'd have to make a full-time career out of working out to burn much fat. Well, let me show you how studies like Dr. Tabata's are changing all that. Hi everyone, Brad Anton here for Full Motion Fitness, makers of the Accelerate ROM machine. So it turns out that if you want to burn the maximum amount of fat in the minimum amount of time, you actually need to exercise less. To see how this works, let's go back to Dr. Tabata's study. During each workout, the four-minute group burned oxygen for two minutes and 40 seconds at 100% VO2 max. That was eight cycles of 20 seconds. The work done representing the 70% above 100% VO2 max was burning glycogen. This higher intensity part of the workout increased the anaerobic capacity. Remember that strength, power, quickness, and speed of the four-minute group by 28%. Guess how much increased strength, power, quickness, and speed the steady state group got? You guessed it. Zero. Nada. Zilch. Nothing. Of course, during each workout, the steady state group did burn oxygen for 60 minutes at 70% VO2 max. So they clearly burned more oxygen during the workouts than the four minute group. But we just saw how Dr. Tabata's four minute group improved their ability to use oxygen at a much higher rate than the steady state group, nearly 52% higher. Hey, could there be something else going on here? You bet there is, and it's the best part of the whole four-minute workout. It's called afterburn. Okay, officially it's called Excess Post-Exercise Oxygen Consumption, or EPOC, but most people just call it afterburn. Here's how it works. Those two minutes and 40 seconds of high intensity work at 170% of VO2 max create a huge deficit in the oxygen stores of the body. So the body increases its oxygen intake during the recovery period and for quite a while after that. What does the body do with the increased oxygen intake from EPOC? Well, it uses some of it to oxidize the lactic acid and get rid of it. And it uses some to fuel the body's increased metabolism from the higher body temperature created by the intense exercise. And it burns some more during the breakdown and consumption of fat into free fatty acids. Simply put, this excess post-exercise oxygen consumption results in an increased metabolism for several hours after the exercise. That's why people often call EPOC the afterburn. This afterburn is part of the reason the four-minute group actually used more oxygen in total and saw a much bigger improvement in VO2 max than the steady state group, even though the steady state group burned more during the workouts. Exercise physiologists used to believe that steady state cardio was better for fat loss because relatively more fat is used by the body as fuel compared to glycogen than at higher intensities. But now we find out that the fat burning zone shown on most cardio equipment, usually between 60 and 65 percent of max heart rate, is not optimal for burning fat. It's dead wrong. Yes, you do burn more fat at low intensity 
during the workout, but what's really important is total fat burning, not just fat burn during the workout. At higher intensities, you actually end up burning more fat because the higher metabolism from afterburn increases fat burning for many hours after the end of the workout. Some studies have found a measurable increase of metabolism for up to 38 hours after the workout. Imagine up to 38 bonus fat burning hours. So let's do a quick recap of the benefits of our four minute workout or high intensity interval training, HIIT. You'll spend about 85% less time working out so you have more time for all the other important things in life. You'll achieve up to a 52% higher increase in VO2 max or aerobic capacity for total fitness and endurance compared to the old steady state workouts. You'll enjoy up to 28% improvement in anaerobic capacity for strength, power, quickness, and speed compared to no gain at all with steady state workouts. You'll keep burning extra fat for up to 38 hours after you stop working out, even in your sleep. You don't get this with steady state workouts. You'll get improved insulin sensitivity. Your muscles more readily suck in glucose, which replenishes the muscle glycogen you burned instead of the glucose going to your fat stores. And you'll enjoy anabolic effect. If you want to build more muscle rather than just burn fat, this will do it. More about this in the next video. Now you see why Dr. Tabata is often called the superhero of fitness and fat burning. So the science is in and the testing's done. And the findings are that the four minute workout is simply the most effective workout you can do. Now that you understand it better, feel free to check out the section called Real Proof for information on the additional studies and research on the high intensity interval training. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video where I show you exactly why a 4 minute program on the Accelerate RAW machine delivers the absolute maximum possible fat burning and fitness benefits to you in the shortest possible time. And while the old line that time is money is true, it's also true that your health is your wealth. See you in the next video.